everybody. This is Lilla in Hawaii. Well, it's very hot here in the islands, and of course we, we're still quarantined inside. You can go out for brief exercise, and that's it. And so um, I'm trying to think of things to do that will keep me occupied. And I've been making a few little gifts. I've got some family members who are having birthdays, so this was a good time to make them some things. And I can't get out to get supplies, but I happen to have a whole bunch of 8x8 eight eight pieces, quilt pieces, of the beautiful hand-screened rayon fabric from the islands that's made by Jams World. You may know of that company. And they have an artist here who paints the pictures and then they're printed onto rayon. So I've got a whole, I had 60, I bought a packet of 60 years ago and they were to make quilts and I actually have made two quilts and a bunch of bags from them. So I still have another packet and this is what I'm coming up with among some other things. I thought I would show you how I make my funky chickens People like these, <laughs> they're cute. They just have no use, they could be a pin cushion, but I like them just sort of sitting around. And people wonder how they're made because they are slightly tricky if you don't know the trick. I know the trick and I don't think they're that hard. So um, they're just, this just one piece of fabric and it's eight inches by four inches. And you fold it in half and I'm going to show you. You fold it in half and um, I'll turn it wrong side out because that's the way you would make it. So you fold it in half and I I have this thing about putting the fold on the left. I don't know why but it, you could do it anyway. So the open part is on the bottom. Just a minute. So the open is on the bottom and the fold is here and then so you have two seams and on the seams inside on the which will be the right side you're going to add three pieces and they are a cone a gobble and a beak and so on the top here's the cone Here's the beak and here's the gobble. And the gobble I make double. Now you can shape them any shape you like. I sort of make this one on top of the cone a little bit of a heart shape. This I just make a square of felt and cut it in half diagonally. And then this is just a modified heart folded for the gobble. So that would be how you attach it on the inside, of course, with the right side facing inwards. And it's hard to see because I'm not going to be sewing this. But here are the parts. So here are the two parts, the beak and the gobble. And here's the cone on the top. So you sew those, just two seams, and then you're left with this. And so that's where it gets a little complicated. You have to bring this to this, which is that seam comes to the center there and you will sew and I can't do that right now but you will sew in about an inch and in about an inch and that gives you room here to stuff and you will end up with okay say so I've stuffed this here I am I've sewn that I've sewn about an inch in here and about an inch in here and then I've left that opening and that opening was there and so I was able to stuff it not too too firmly but fairly firmly you know so that and then the next thing to do is just stitch that opening closed right so that's done you see that's one that's in the makings so that's done like that that's the way they sit now the only other thing they need is eyes. You can put a little tail on them. Little, I have seen people put a little bit of a tail thing, but I don't care for that. So what I do is I just leave them like that. And then I take two little black beads. I've got one here. 
little black bead. I usually use they're about an eighth of an inch those black, black beads. So what I do it to make the eyes is I find a place that's about a half inch in from each corner. And I go back a couple of times. Oops, I missed that. And then I'm going to pick up one bead and I'll sew that on this side. And then on the other side I've got the other bead. These are little wooden beads. If you don't have black beads you can make a French knot or you can use some other colored bead or a glass bead. You can even pick up a wooden bead and just paint it black with felt tip markers. So plenty of op options I think. Or you could uh, even add a sequin. So there you go. There's, there's the eyes. Can you see those? Maybe on that side you can see it better. So there's a funky chicken. So there they are. It's a whole gaggle of them. I don't know if that's the right term, but there they are. I've also been making, um, because I had a lot of the fabric <laughs> I've been making, a lot of these fragrant sachets. And I've been bundling them in threes and tying them with twine. And this is one that was left over. So it's made from the same sort of fabric. They're very bright and colorful. They smell good. They've got French lavender in them. Anyway, I thought I would come by and show you something. And um, if you go to my website, you'll see the pattern for these. And that's justlilla.com. You will find the pattern there. Thanks very much for watching. Hope you're all doing well. Bye-bye.